everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Now, if you looked at the title of the video and you're a little bit lost, you might want to check out the video before this one. It's an announcement video, which will explain why this video is going live. I have a couple of reasons why I wanted to do this video. First off, I'm very happy to have a platform where I can share, you know, stuff that is important for me to share with you guys, but also for me to look back upon. So I'm very excited to document this journey so I can look back at this maybe one day with my little daughter or son or maybe not so little at that point and to you know just see what went on and what I was doing and how I was feeling throughout my pregnancy and also I feel like it helped me in a lot of ways looking at other pregnant ladies and seeing what their first trimester looked like their second trimester and all that good stuff so hopefully this might be helpful for some of you or some of you just you know would want to know what's happening and how I'm feeling this is the video to watch, I guess. I definitely knew that I was pregnant the moment that I got pregnant. We have never been pregnant before. This is our first pregnancy. I have not experienced, you know, miscarriage um, or anything of that nature. Thank God. And inshallah, that will never happen either. It's just that I'm very in tune with my body so i will notice changes immediately if i feel different and it's you know new type of symptoms that i've never had before i will try to make a connection for myself if not obviously i would go see a doctor before i actually took the pregnancy test i saw some signs first off i can't even explain how tired i was if if i could sleep a full day and just wake up to eat i would have done that so uncomfortable is not the word but i was very upset with being so exhausted just because you know you want to do stuff you want to get things done even you know tasks around the house were like a boot camp for me another thing was cramping very heavy cramping that you can definitely connect to period pains which basically means that your womb is you know expanding for what is yet to come and it's a very not irritating feeling but also because I thought I was pregnant I you know obviously didn't want to take any pills for it and usually if I have that level of cramping during my period, I would take like a period, you know, painkiller, you know, specifically targeting that area. But in this case, I stayed away from it. So I just had the full blown cramping and that would happen like a couple of days out of the week and it would last for maybe a half an hour or so. So it was very different. Besides that, also when I would lay down, I would see my stomach thump. Now, of course, when you're just pregnant, that's not immediately a baby in the heartbeat or you see movement, it's none of that. What it is, is a vein pumping the extra blood to your baby. So I just saw my stomach doing this the whole time. And I've never seen it do that before, you know, whether I'm on my period or not, I've never experienced that in my life. So I was like, this is something different okay something's happening in my stomach and the changing of your areola um, colors because let me tell you if you have like pinkish fluffy cotton candy type of areolas they go brown okay if you had brown ones before I assume they just stay brown I don't assume they get like any darker like I don't know I don't know I'm just you know and then if anything or anybody comes anywhere near the Tata area you know it's just it's that's all I can make so it's and y'all know what I mean by that it's very very painful 
Now, I actually took the pregnancy test when I was three days late because I wanted to wait and taking the test until I was, you know, until it was going to be absolutely sure. I'm sorry if you hear the bird. Until the test was going to be pop. Until I was absolutely sure that something would pop up on the pregnancy test. Because sometimes if you take it too soon, it could be negative or false negative, false positive, you know, I just, you know, I wanted to avoid that. So I took the test March 18th and I was pregnant. It was a very emotional moment for me, as you've probably seen in the reaction video. And then I kind of surprised my husband, as you could see in his reaction video. Um, when I told my my girl Stephanie she was very surprised as well and um, very happy and she got very emotional like real quick but I did not catch that on camera so because I, I thought it was over you know the, I thought the moment was over but as soon as I clicked it off and I looked at her you know, all the waterworks came out and I was like, oh my God, we're in the middle of a busy street, girl. You know, it's a shopping area. It was crazy, but it was cute. And then I told my group of friends at my bridal shower, they were all excited. My mom was super excited. She cried a lot. I have that on camera, but I would rather not post that because, you know, it was a lot of facials going on over here and it was, you know, it was just... It wasn't cute, but it was lovely, but it wasn't cute. I gained about, I'm trying to calculate because first of all, today I'm like a little bit over 17 weeks, so I'm trying to go back. Okay, so I gained like three kilos and a little bit, so that's like seven pounds. That sounds crazy, but that's how much I gained in the, in the first trimester. Other stuff that will change is obviously, you know, your breasts will begin to plump up a little bit. The tiredness really continued throughout the whole first trimester. Something that I deal with being pregnant or not is low blood pressure and having a low sugar. That will actually only get worse during pregnancy. I mean, not I don't want to sound dramatic, but it is known that in pregnancy your blood will your blood pressure will drop. So, and sometimes it would really get to the point where my routine is my usual morning routine is waking up, getting myself in the shower, brush my teeth, get dressed, come out, and then eat my food. At this point, I'm no longer able to do that because as soon as I'm in the shower and I'm like near the end of the shower, I can already feel I'm starting to like get hot, I'm starting to get woozy in my head. And so every time I would get out of the shower, I would have to sit on the couch or lay down back again on my bed and all that stuff. So I would have to eat something as the moment I wake up, basically. So have like a yogurt next to your bed, a cookie, you know, tomato with some salt on it. I don't know, like just have something so you can try to wake up a little bit. Piece of fruit, apple, um, and maybe stay in your bed like for 15 minutes, a half an hour. Do something in that time, but try to just stay in bed and have your body like wake up calmly. I had a blackout one time while I was on the tram going to Central Station. That was not fun. That's the first time I've ever blacked out because I'm not the type to even faint. If I have my episode, I would call it, what I would do is throw up. Um, and it's not like throwing up a food. It's really throwing up of saliva and just um, mucus and stuff. So I bumped my head into the tram and I was out for maybe 10, 20 seconds. And when I woke up for all the people from Antwerp, we were at Harmony and so I just stepped out the tram because that's an open space. There was a lot of air. I just had to like get my life. Something that I was dealing with as well, going to the toilet a lot, which can become a drag especially being in Belgium because not every store has a restroom over there and if there is half of the time or maybe a little bit more than half of the time you have to pay for it so it's just you know that's that was one of the reasons why I was happy to be back I was like let me go to Target let me use the restroom let me go to Ross 
let me use the restroom. Let me go to Walmart, restroom. Thank Jesus for the free restroom. I was craving cheeseburgers and watermelons. I mean, obviously not at the same time. I was really wanting to eat some foods that I can't have now, that I can't have now, which is like cold cuts. You can only have it if you heat them up, but I'm not about that life. Sushi, sashimi, oh, a, a poached egg, oh my God. The sourdough bread, some avocado, and a poached egg. Lord, I even tried to ask my doctor Tuesday and she looked at me. She was like, child, you know you're not supposed to have that. I'm like, I know. Stay hydrated, guys. I know it sounds like the the the, but really that is super important. You have to take in your like 1.8 two liters a day. If you haven't checked out, I I did a video on it. I don't know what video it was anymore. A favorites video where I showed you an app, Water My Body. That bad boy will make noise if you haven't you know drank a cup of water in like an hour or. A half an hour you can set like a kind of timer and I would highly suggest that because it's very important I mean you should be drinking your amount of required water always you know but being pregnant and you're you're losing a lot of fluids you're going to the toilet a lot just be mindful of that but anyways guys that was it if I have anything you know popping up in my head if I have anything popping up in my head at the end of this video I will make sure to put it down in the description box so definitely do check that out as well I want to thank you so much for tuning in and just know that we are very excited and very nervous and happy and anxious and grateful and terrified all at the same time and that is very normal and common for first-time parents I know but it's still it's you know a journey when you're on it we're just very it's been a good year okay people it's been a good year that's all I can say it's been a good year and inshallah it will just God willing it will just continue to be an awesome year and yeah thank you so much for being on this journey with us and i will see you in the next video guys bye Mwah.